To determine whether Ca3PO42 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water, we'll use these rules here. This is calcium phosphate. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what reaction, what neutralization reaction produced the calcium phosphate. So we have calcium hydroxide, hydroxide bonded to a metal, that's our base. H3PO4 is phosphoric acid. They come together and we get this Ca3PO42 and water. This is a neutralization reaction. So to use the rules, we need to know the strength of the base and the acid. This table here is really helpful, probably one you want to memorize here. We have strong bases and strong acids. So here's our base. We're looking for calcium hydroxide right there. That's a strong base. So let's write SB up here. Phosphoric acid. I don't see it. So if it's not on our list of strong acids, it's going to be a weak acid. And here it is with the weak acids. So W. A, weak acid. So now we know the strength of the acid in the base. We can use the rules to figure out whether Ca3PO4 2 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So we're looking for strong base, weak acid. Strong base, strong acid, weak base. Here's a strong base and a weak acid. And according to the rules, the pH is going to be greater than 7. It's going to be alkaline. We also call that basic. So Ca3PO4 2, calcium phosphate, will form a basic solution when it's dissolved in water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.